if you like it. Take yourself out. Take ice cream, pizza, donuts, pepper soup, goat meat. Enjoy your life this year. Hi guys and welcome again to my YouTube channel. Yes, my name is Keradora. If you're new here, you're very welcome to the new program icon. And if you've been my subscriber, sure, you're taking over in 2023. Yes, as you can tell by the title of my video today, we're talking about the 10 ideas for you to do or to make in 2023. Stay right there and go nowhere. So you're welcome back. And like I said, we're talking about the 10 ideas that you should do this um, 2023. And the first thing that you must do is that you must be close to God. I mean, you must be close to God. Yes, because one thing is that you cannot in any way remove the God factor out of your life it is very very impossible so we cannot do without god i can't do without god and my jesus yes so this new year be intentional about knowing god for yourself be intentional about seeking god because one thing you must understand is that by strength shall no man prevail if you could do it by strength yes we'd have done it but no we can't do without god so that is the major thing that you must do if you're a christian be closer to your god if you are practicing other religion or muslim just ensure that you're close to God. And for you out there, Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Be intentional about knowing God. That is my belief. And also follow your own belief. And the second thing you must do is that you must be intentional about your 10.3. There are so many of us. We have so many things to do. I, I know that, you know, there are sometimes that you, know, you have like 100 New Year resolution. I want to be this. I want to be that. That thing is, let me use this word, powerful. Everything is life. Yeah, some people, they try as much as possible to ensure that they are able to accomplish it. But sincerely speaking, all the ones I've been having for different years, I think I was only, okay, for last year, I said I was going to read, right? And for the whole month, okay, no, from, I think for like 10 months, I was able to read books, right? Yes, I was able to achieve that. But sometimes it's not, it's not very easy for everybody. So if you have too much resolution, imagine me having like 10 resolution I wanted to do last year. And I think I was able to achieve those um, either four or three thereabouts. So it might work for you, it might not work for you, but ensure that you are not having too many things to achieve in 2023. If you have it, it sometimes it just be as if it's a joke to you. You know, it's not be as if you are playing like, eh, Shekwe, it's me that I wrote all this, and I, I'm the one that wrote all this thing. So you must be very, very intentional about this year. You don't need to be casual about anything. Yes, you might have been casual maybe last year, but this year is a different year. You need to be very intentional about what you're doing, be intentional about what you really want to achieve. Now we go to the next point. This third point is very, very important. Why I said it's important is because it's, it's very, very challenging. Don't be in competition with anybody. No matter how it is, no matter how it's going to be, don't be in competition with anybody. You are not here, we are all running our race. So please, be sure that you're just running your own race and you're trying to achieve what you want to achieve. You don't need to start looking here and there and running and like, okay, this person is achieving this. All oh, my friends are married, I'm not married. Your time is not their time. So don't gauge your life with another person's time. It is very wrong. All oh, wrong, wrong. Don't do that in 2023 because it will choke you and it will kind of depress you. And at the end of the day, you won't be able to see. At the end of the day, you'll be like, okay, what did I not eventually achieve at the end of the year? Don't let that be your focus don't be in competition with everybody if people are succeeding you can appreciate and say oh thank god you're doing this appreciate what they're doing right but don't try to be them you can emulate something good from someone right but don't try as much as possible to want to now be like the person and be like okay because can is following this step i want to follow you don't know what's in my mind you don't know what i'm thinking at that time so don't try to get your life with another person's life this movement so the next Points. Uh, this very next point is also important is the fact that um, this is actually for students can you invest here, you are this, you are that, yeah, you are also probably working. The thing is that you must ensure that you have something you're doing aside your work, aside your school. Pick a book up sometime and just read. It's not from, you, you can't tell me that if you are doing a um, 9 to 5 job and then weekend you, are, you don't have time. Even if it's on a Sunday, be intentional about reading about something. Because I've got to understand that readers are leaders. So you must ensure that you read something. Some of you be like, hey, I'm not good with reading. But sometimes if they give you books to read, that is probably not going to be helping your future. Some of us, we are, we, are, we are very good at reading that. So if you have time for book, also have time for books that can probably build your career, 
that can build something about you and try to attend programs. Ensure that you do this in 2023 because it will help you. And the world is actually going global. So you can't afford to be left behind. You can't afford to be left behind. Yeah. This fifth point is also important. It is very, very mandatory that you try to reflect on what you're doing. There are sometimes what works for me is that sometimes I'm seated and I'm like, okay, I'm supposed to do this, I'm supposed to do that. And it's ringing in my head that, okay, okay, if I'm not able to do this, I was able to do this. And there's something, I learned one thing from my dad, and it's, it's always like, if you want to do like 10 things, right? You try to write it down. Writing makes you remember what you want to do, actually. If you are able to write down things, you'll be like, okay, if you've done one, you know that you've done it. Not that you, you do number one, you go and do number seven. You now do number three. You now remember to do number nine or number ten. It's it's choking. It's, it's distracting. So you try as much as possible to ensure that you write whatever you want to do down. And when you are done with it, try to reflect this thing that I did today, this thing I was able to achieve, did I do it excellently well? Okay, what are the areas I need to improve on? It will really, really help you. It will really help you in 2020. All right, this number six is very, very important. Take time to do what you've not done before. Don't misquote me. I'm not saying something negative. In the sense that if you know that last year you had, let's assume you had like um, five new year resolutions that you wanted to do, you can as well as you can as well pick one of it and try to achieve it. Pick it if if it's as okay this year I'm going to read like ten books. Pick it up, try it out, and it, you definitely achieve it. Because it's one thing for you to have a plan, it's another thing for you to have time to act, to activate the plan, and it's another thing for you to even do it excellently well. So if you have a plan for this year, yes, yeah, some of us we have plan. If I tell you my plan, you be like, hey, can I do that only you? Yes, that's how it is. But how do we go about achieving our plan? That is it. For some of you, you might be trying to get a job. For some of us, you might be trying to do one or two things. And probably, some people want to jackpot, but I don't advise that you jackpot because if you jackpot a lot, you jackpot and come back. So the main thing is I should try and ensure that you are able to find expression in what you're doing in the sense that where you are, where you are right now, if you're in Nigeria or you're abroad right now, wherever you are, try to make something out of where you are. Don't try to say, my, my friends are annoying where I am. My friends, oh, my friend is into the movie industry. I want to go there. You go there this month. Okay, my friend is already trying to do entrepreneur program. You go there. My friend is a politician. You also join politics. You will miss it. So try and be focused and try and ensure that whatever you are doing, you are taking your time to understand that it is not because people are doing it. It is because you really want to achieve it. All right, this next point is for parents. Take time and understand your children. There are some of you, probably last year, you were like, oh, this child is so problematic, so annoying, so amazing at the same time. Take that, that child to God and tell God about your child. God, you gave me the child. There are some of them, you see, you notice that they were slow, right? Probably in their writing, in their reading. And if you actually want to judge, calculate the time that you give to your work and the time that you give to your children. It's really summer. Some some people don't even take time to pray for their children. And they expect that they come out when in night. No. Ensure that as a parent, you are able to know what is going on in your home. You are able to know what is going on in your partner's life. And especially your children's life. Why I have to bring this in between is because there are so many things out there that is happening to children in school. And some of them, they won't tell you anything. Probably you are harsh or maybe not even you are harsh. It's the fact that you don't even bother to ask them. So they prefer to talk to people outside. Than the people at home. So ensure that as a parent, you are free to talk to your children. Create that room for them because a lot is going on and a lot is going wrong with children out there. I can't imagine a child, a child of, um, I think, um, primary school like that, watching pornography in secondary school. And you're like, oh, where did they get this from? You will keep asking the question if you don't know what to do. So as a parent, please ensure you take time and have time for your children. My ninth point. This next point is very important. Ensure that this new year, nobody spoil your joy. Yes. Be very happy. Like, you take yourself out. Take ice cream. Pizza. Donuts. Pepper soup. Goat meat. Enjoy your life this year. Life no hard, though. Now we did make it hard. <laughs> okay, so ensure that, you know, in as much as you're so busy with so many things, take out time to take care of yourself. Take yourself out on a date. Yeah, enjoy yourself. Like, have time. Have fun. I mean positive fun. I'm not saying you should go and follow. 
you understand what I'm saying? I don't want to say that because of YouTube um guidelines and all of that. But I'm sure that I'm not doing something wrong. Yeah. So that I'm not doing something bad. My last point C says that you should be close to God. Start with prayer, end with prayer, continue in prayer, sustain in prayer. Because Adua is a cuckoo of the matter. Adura is a cuckoo. That's why Ken Adura like you must love to pray. It's actually very important that you pray, you pray. When things are going good, you pray. When things are going bad, you pray. When you don't understand at all, you pray. Because that is the holy weapon I believe that you use to fight battle. I pray that this year, 2023, the Lord will help us and see us all through. Thank you all for joining. And once again, Happy New Year. I am Ken Adora. Ensure you comment. If you have any other thing that you want me to that you want to say, I want me to see it. Comment. Thank you and bye.